people in the Queen City see it all the time. Semi trucks park along roadsides or interstate ramps when truck stops are full. But a local man says he has a fix for this, and he's developed an app just for truckers to find available parking spaces near their locations. Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis joining us live at a truck stop in West Charlotte with how this app is supposed to work. Morgan. So, Alicia, this app is only going to show lots where truckers can park. So it's not going to have fast food restaurants and it's not going to have showers. But what it will have is security, security that these drivers who are parked in the street didn't have tonight as they drove around hunting for a spot. The trucks have what we call electronic logbooks on them. And so the drivers could only stay on the road for a certain amount of time. When truck drivers hit their max hours, they're federally mandated to call it a night. If you talk to drivers, which we do, uh, you know, they will shut down two and three hours early in big cities like Charlotte just to find somewhere to park. Some aren't that fortunate. When the truck stops are full, they've resorted to parking on the side of the road or ramps to I-85. Recently, NCDOT crews worked to curb the illegal truck parking by installing signs and stakes so drivers physically can't stop there. But the thing about truck stops is nothing against them, but they're crowded, they're noisy, they may not be always the best place that you want to spend the night, and you're not guaranteed a space. Charlotte resident Jack Conlon owns Uptime Truck Parking and runs six lots in Charlotte. He's developed an app he believes will be a game changer for long haul road warriors. The key thing, number one, is it's reservable. So they can go online and they can pick the date that they need a space. They can reserve it. They can pay for it. And they know when they come to Charlotte, they have a space waiting for them. The app called Truck Bays has been in the works for years and just launched last month. They've partnered with other truck lot owners to offer spots in places like Miami, Houston, Orlando, and more. Each location offers the same safety and security, even down to how drivers get on the property. So by not giving out a gate code or anything like that, it's encrypted in their phone. That's how they get in and off the yard. So Conlin says that truckers usually get gas and food before arriving to their lots, and so that's not something they offer as they try to keep overhead costs low. He also said that traction for truckers, it's picking up for their apps, and he's hoping that that continues to hopefully bring a solution to this problem of overcrowded truck stops. Live in West Charlotte, I'm Morgan Francis, Queen City News. Save.